Hello there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to take a very quick trip down to Dramatic Aquatics, which is approximately six or seven miles away from my home. That's where my mate Andy works. I've kind of followed his progression right from the start when they were beginning to set it up. And I'll give you a quick look at how it's looking now. Now, I'm not going to go around every single tank having a look at what's in the tank and telling you exactly what it is. It's not my shop, so it's not really my place to do that. But Andy does that in his videos on the Dramatic Aquatics channel. All I'm going to do is just quickly go around, pick out a few of the highlights, maybe a few things of interest, and then get out of there because it's just a fleeting visit. The real reason I'm going down here is to see a huge inverted aquarium, which, well, have a look at this. You can stand next to it, dip your heat in. That's massive, that thing. It's a good way to check if there's any disease on the fish and all, isn't it? What a beast. Andy's got a couple of videos on his channel of him making this and setting it up and also it shows how you get the water in there it's a very simple process but um, I wouldn't have actually known how to do it without seeing it first so check out his channel and also check out his channel for the unboxing video when I was down at his place there was six or seven boxes of fish he's videoed the unboxing of those so if you're into your unboxing videos and you like to see some new fish coming in check out that I used to enjoy going around filming the fish in our shop you know it, it was exciting to let people know what, what was coming in you know see what had come in green phantom pleck L200 and those are the lads banjo catfish they don't do much to them it's quite bonny though Filtration lets it down on the top, doesn't it? But you've got an external on that one, haven't you? Nope. Yeah, haven't you not? So then you got filter wall and then alpha drop. Looks pretty good. The top filter. A Cory melanistus. Good size as well. I like Corys. Here's some fish you don't see every day. These are black banded leperinus. Same family as tetras. So they get to what, six, seven inches or something, Andy? Twelve, I think. About twelve inches? About twelve inches, yeah, for them. One with other predatory stuff like daploids, pacus. Really nice. What sort of stingray did you say that was, Andy? Matoro stingray, that one. Matoro. Matoro. And what disc size did they get? Around about the 24 inch, so big fish. Ideally, you want a tank which is 30 inches from front to back. Um, probably seven or eight or even bigger feet long. Beautiful fish, and you can see just at the back the little sting there. Aye. And it'll lose that one as it grows another one through about every oh, six right. months. Does it? Yep. You just got to be careful when you're maintaining the tank because they still hold the venom in the barb even though it's like under your sand or your substrate. So you, as a substrate, you'd have what sand or just a, I would go just for a glass bottom? Just a glass bottom. And then other things are pangasius, aren't they? Yes. Just get a quick view around the shop actually, because it's pretty well stocked now, and you've got some more fish to unload, haven't you? Yeah. Some new ones come in. Six boxes. Yeah. Well, I'll put a link to your unboxing video in my video. I'm not going to hang around whilst you unbox all them fish. <laughs> Yeah. 
I'll put a link to his channel in the video description. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.